The Mackinac City School District is fortunate to have small class sizes to offer personalized instruction to our students. However, changes in growth in both education and athletics require our district to adapt by expanding the building's footprint. On Tuesday, August 6, voters living in the district will have the opportunity to consider a bond proposal that, if approved, would result in $8 million used for district-wide facility improvements. This bond would allow for construction and renovation to replace aging infrastructure, create new learning spaces, and expand and upgrade athletic facilities. Here are some quick facts about the 2024 bond proposal. This is the first bond proposal put before voters by MCPS in 40 years. If approved, this would result in $8 million in facility improvement. The bond would result in a 1.95 initial tax increase, with an estimated overall increase of 1.56. In order to help lessen the impact of the bond on taxpayers, the school board will contribute $100,000 yearly to contribute to the debt reduction. This bond proposal addresses three major priorities set by the district. One priority is to replace aging infrastructure. It is critical for the district to upgrade infrastructure, as much of it dates back to the 1980s and has become outdated. Another priority is to expand learning spaces, in order to add classrooms to meet the growing needs of our district. A third priority is to upgrade athletic facilities. This will include upgrading the baseball and softball fields, as well as adding a new competitive gymnasium. The new gymnasium will allow multiple sports teams to conduct practices simultaneously, reducing time management issues for student athletes and their families. As our current situation causes some team practices to go into the evening, the new addition will ensure that student athletes are home for dinner time, allowing them to spend time with family and work on schoolwork. A new gymnasium and concession area will allow our district to increase the number of athletic events hosted in the building. Expanded seating capacity will make our district an attractive location for hosting districts, regionals, and other athletic tournaments in basketball and volleyball. Standardized testing requirements, as well as accommodations necessary for special education students, have made it difficult for our district to find adequate space for scheduling required assessments. The new learning spaces will allow for more flexibility in meeting state requirements. The addition will also allow the district to offer expanded curriculum opportunities, as well as to implement an all-day free preschool program. Are you a property owner in the district and curious about how this might affect your taxes? Let's take a look at a sample scenario. To customize this for your own needs, please visit bit.ly slash bond proposal for an estimate for your situation. As an example, a property owner in Mackinac Township with a taxable value of $50,000 would see an initial annual increase of $97.49 on taxes. This would equate to $8.12 per month. A taxable value of $75,000 would incur an initial increase of $146.25 per year, or $12.19 per month. It should be noted that this bond proposal could increase property values within the district. An investment in Mackinac City Public Schools is a commitment not only to the growth of the district, but to the benefit of the entire community. Please take the time to vote by August 6th. Thank you for supporting Mackinac City Public Schools.